Well, new at five, Adams County leaders announced the county is ready to move into phase 1B of COVID-19 vaccinations. And WGEM's Dylan Austin is live at the Oakley Lindsay Center, the site of where these vaccinations will be taking place. Dylan. Hey, Mackenzie, lot to get to. Uh, you know, first of all, right now here at the Oakley Lindsay Center on the other side of this building on a daily basis, cars continue to come in and out as this has been the recent site for the county's rapid testing. Starting next week, this will this site will now double as the county's vaccination headquarters as well. Starting next week, residents 65 and older, along with some other groups, including some essential worker groups, will be able to start receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. We heard from the officials today that you've been hearing from all along throughout this process. Quincy Mayor Kyle Moore, uh, Adams County Public Health Administrator Jared Welch, Adams County EMS Director John Simon, all taking uh, all talking today, all optimistic saying this is a very good day and we are taking the next step forward. Now they say before this, the majority of the people that, that were in the phase 1A group, people like uh, frontline health care workers, uh, those in resident, uh, those residents and employees of nursing homes, all were able to get the, for the most part, those vaccinations have happened, that phase 1A. So now we're moving on to this next one. Officials say they're receiving between 4,000 and 4,500 vaccines to move into phase B, again, starting next week. That, of course, is going to be a significant portion of the most vulnerable, vulnerable population in Quincy and in Adams County. Getting vaccinated will help us remove the constraints placed on our lives, will open our economy, and give us the individual freedoms we deserve as Americans. This is our moment to eliminate and eradicate the virus. All right, and again, today officials stressing that they do feel like they are prepared, but they're also saying this is going to be a process. It's going to take patience. Some important things tonight. You do have to make an appointment. You can do so online on the Adams County Together website. That registration portion is open right now. You can go on there and get a bunch of information. Starting tomorrow morning, you can also do so over the phone. We'll have that phone number coming up for you here in just a moment. Meantime, the appointments, again, these are required for a number of reasons. One of the biggest, just cutting down on wait times and possible overcrowding. So these appointments, again, are necessary. Now, another interesting thing we learned today with this, uh, when it comes to getting this vaccine, you come here, you get your shot, somebody inside will then record that data and put it into the state's registry so they know uh, that that information is there and, and you have that available to prove that you've gotten your vaccine, whether that be with your employer or for any other reason. So that is also something they'll be taking care of here on site as well. Mackenzie from the Oakley Lindsay Center will send it back to you. OK, thank you so much, Dylan. And again, the website with all of that information is AdamsCountyTogether.com. And then to set up an appointment by phone starting tomorrow at 9 a.m., that number 217-600-4829 or 4VAX for those four last numbers there.